I started to play tennis my junior year of high school. Uh, the reason why I wanted to play was because before I graduated, I wanted to be able to play a sport at a varsity level and be successful at it. And sort of through a process of elimination, I wound up coming to tennis by the time I was in my junior year. Luckily, not only was I able to succeed at it at the varsity level, but it's also something that I wound up really enjoying and has carried on through high school, and now I get to do other things with it as well. What influenced me to play tennis was, uh, one of the coach, I knew who the coach was, uh, Brian Colziel. He, not even just through tennis, but just knowing him, the guy loves sports, and that's something that I thought was really cool because, I mean, you'll get coaches that, you know, they just do this every season, and they just, that's it, they're done. He keeps it as an annual thing. He does it all the time. He's always a sports. He does football. He does hockey and tennis, of course. So it wasn't even just the fact that he understood tennis, but he just loved the competitive and emotional aspect of competition. Our coach lets everybody as a whole vote together to see who they want to um, lead their team. I luckily got picked, which I thought was really cool because one, I wanted the role before the season had started. And fortunately for me, the rest of the team wanted me in that role as well to be as an example for them. We've always tried to keep it as a team concept and have everybody together. So for me to be a captain in that sort of role, which I thought was pretty cool. I'd only played on the team for two years, so I still felt like I had an opportunity to give something back to the program. And for the past three years, you know, the coach has allowed me to come back and help out with the kids. And it's been a really easy transition because, I mean, as I graduate, obviously, I know kids on the team. So being friends with them and being closer to them in age, you know, I understand them. They understand me. They understand it's tough for me to start coaching because it's something I've never done before. But the past couple of years, it's actually worked out to be something that I've actually, well, I would say I've gotten a lot better at. What would you say to someone who wants to start taking up tennis as a sport? I would say enjoy it. Because, I mean, obviously that goes without saying. Um, a lot of people like it for the individual aspect of it. I mean, it's different from a team sport because, you know, one person can play well in a game or an athletic competition and the team can still lose. And it gives you a sort of mixed emotion. What I like about it is that you, the result solely depends on your performance. If you play good and you win, it's one of the greatest, in my opinion, it's one of the greatest feelings you get in competition. And then obviously you have the reverse if, if you lose, you know, it's upsetting or whatever. But if you really enjoy it, the losses are something that you can take as an experience and you use them to build up and become better.